I know. A hat? What's going on? No, hair's still there. Um, I'm just having a bad hair day, so I figured I would just wear my Prisoners of War Missing in Action hat. And at the same time, it's a bit cathartic. Um, this morning, a really good friend of mine, uh, well, I found out this morning, a really good friend of mine passed away this weekend. Um, so... kind of a bit emotional right now and he's a veteran so I want to start this video off on a very serious matter and that is if you are feeling down if you are feeling depressed if you're feeling that you just can't do it you, you, you're not alone I have depression and with the right medication and with the right help and the right therapy I am seeing a light at the end of the tunnel But the fact that my friend um, sadly took his own life on Friday um, only for his family to find his body uh, this morning. Sorry, it's just... What hurts the most is the fact that he never reached out. And that's because he was too prideful. I am too prideful. I'm very guilty of being too prideful. But please understand, if you are suffering with anything, reach out to someone. Even if it's the Samaritans, even if it's 111, even if it's just reach out to someone, please. And... Please know that you're not alone in your struggles, in your battles, in your fight. You're not alone. Um, I'm tired of losing brothers and sisters to... I'm sorry, this is just... <laughs> I'm just so tired of losing my friends and my family. I'm a grown ass man crying because I lost a friend who couldn't reach out to me because he couldn't talk to me And the people that he tried to reach out to beforehand, thanks to politics or whatever, him and his family are now paying the ultimate price. You want to know why no one wants to fight for England? Look at number 10. Look at the piss... Poor people in suits that we call leaders. That's why. No one wants to fight for a country that willingly allows in fucking migrants and treats them like fucking royalty. While well, my brothers and sisters are fucking homeless on the streets. Dying. Sorry, it's just... And what's worse is I can't even go to his funeral. Because I'm not allowed in the US. I'm not even allowed to go to his funeral. So, sour note, better note, 
a much more better note. I'm here to talk about three members of the Cobra Nation. I'm here to talk about three followers of mine who have been going through a rough patch. And so I'm here to give them some words of encouragement and wisdom. I'm here to talk about Francisco Carlos. I'm here to talk about Junior. And I'm here to talk about Thomas. And their wonderful mum. And their wonderful dad. Who loved them incredibly. To the ends of the earth and back again. Boys. Thomas. I am so proud of you. Everything you do. Your ROTC, your career, the choice that you've made, the fact that you want to join and you've narrowed it down to either the Navy, the Marines, no matter what, no matter what form of service you choose, even if you become a police officer and you choose to help your community, the fact that you're willing to sacrifice so much to make sure that everyone, including your brother, Junior and your brother Frankie are safe. Speaks volumes about your character. And it speaks volumes about your mother and your father raising you. Junior. <laughs> junior, 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 Junior. <laughs> I love you little dude. But you got to take the VR headset off once in a while. Okay little man. And stop looking and touching virtual grass and go out and touch actual grass. <laughs> and yes I will send you some British snacks okay I'll send you some quavers some what's it some monsters uh, and a few other things here from the UK I will send you some some British snacks as promised now on to the little troublemaker known as Francisco Frankie Carlos what am I gonna do with you my dude you're four going on 40. You think you know everything, but you don't, little man. All right? Your mother loves you very, very much. Your dad loves you very, very much. Chase the puppy loves you very, very much. Okay? But you got to be a good boy. you got to listen to mum when dad's not home. And you got to listen to dad when dad's home. Okay? you got to listen to grandma. Okay, I know they're, they're icky grown-ups, but you've got to listen to them, son, because they know more than you, all right? They want you to be a big, brave, strong boy, just like your big brother Thomas, okay? You've got to look up to Thomas, because Thomas is your big brother. He's setting a huge example for you, okay? He really is. He's setting a really big example for you, young man. And now, Mama. What am I going to do with you, Mama? You have raised three beautiful boys. And I know times feel like they get bleak at times. But remember the little mantra. This too shall pass. Okay? Bad times pass. Good times pass. Okay, but remember, just say it, this too shall pass. You want to know how I get through my bad days? This too shall pass. They pass. When I'm on having a wonderful day, I fear that this too shall pass. But no, you're not in it alone. You're not in it alone. You're never in it alone. Ever. Never, ever, ever. And to Dad, shout out to you. Long haul truck driver. Backbone of America. Good provider for his wife and three kids and a lovely home. Make sure that he's family wants for nothing sacrificing a lot 
You are a hero. Not all heroes wear capes or uniforms. Not all heroes can find a phone booth to change into their superhero uniform. But you, sir, you are a hero. You take care of your wife, you take care of your three boys, and I could not be more proud of you as a person. And as a person I like to call a friend, a close friend. You are a very good, good man. Now, all that mushy stuff aside. <laughs> that was my phone. All that mushy stuff aside. Instagram. Why is it always Instagram? It's probably some bot wanting to sell something to me. Let's, let's see what it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Instagram trying to sell me something. Oh, okay. Let, let's play along. Hi, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. They won't get back to me. <laughs> they never do. <laughs> anyway, guys. How was your weekend? Mine was fantastic. Had some friends over. Had a laugh. It was amazing. So I got up this morning. And I read that message. goes full circle and I need you guys to know I do plan and start streaming again soon I don't know what I'm going to be streaming I might even just do a coffee time with Cobra live stream and just answer questions until the coffee's done and then end the stream I don't know yet bleep bloop in the comment section down below if that's what you want I'll do that but for now guys Normally I'll do, coffee's done, I'm done. But I'm just too emotionally drained to keep going right now. And I think I'm going to have a nice hot shower and a cry. At the thought that the world just got a little bit darker because my friend died. And if you have someone out there who you know has issues, mental health issues, stigmas, things of that nature... Check on them. Call them. And if your mum and dad are alive, call them. If you're fortunate enough to be watching this video now, and your parents are alive, and you haven't spoken to them in a while, call them. And talk to them for as long as you can, or as long as they will talk to you. Okay? And I mean that call them talk to them don't email them don't text them call them speak to them or go see them if they're in the same state as you go see them if they're in the same country as you go see them make plans go see them I cannot stress that enough Life is too short. The world's falling apart. Stupid people are doing stupid things. And... We need to start taking care of each other. And I mean that. We need to start taking more care of each other. Alright guys, I'm going to this video now. So, peace. And I'll see you guys in the next one.